It smells okay. I'm not smelling, let me just... Just smell it, it smells fine to me. Just smell it. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, here's your date right here. I saw the date. Three, six, twenty, three. Well, hello, welcome to Simply Simmons. I'm Deandra Simmons, and I am joined by my mama, Dee Simmons, today. And we've been gone for a while, Mom. I know it. It's been a long time. But you know why? It's because you've been so busy. Well, I haven't done any recipes on my own either. And I wanted you back because originally this is supposed to be for my birthday. You were yes. going to make me this birthday yes. cake. Yes. And I said, well, let's go ahead and just do it on the show. And my birthday was about 15, 16 days ago, 17 days ago, whatever. I'm not good with math. So um, now we're going to do it because I've never got a birthday cake. I did get one at my party. But I never got my mama's birthday cake, which, you know, everybody wants their mama's birthday cake, right? <laughs> That's true. And, you know, when I grew up as a child, I wanted the same birthday cake. Really? Yeah. And then we kind of changed a little bit. There's some things you wanted, and we'll talk about different. But, uh, yeah, this was always my mom's favorite. Of all the cakes she made, it was my very favorite. So today, I'm going to let mom show you how she makes the birthday cake, and I'm going to just chat with her and learn at the same time. Now, you guys know I'm not a big sweets, like, I'm not great at making sweets. It's not and my I thing. love them. I'm addicted to them. She loves to make them, and she loves to eat them. Oh, I'll take yeah. just a little bite of them. This is one of the things I really do enjoy, but, oh, gosh, do you remember last year? So last year, she made the birthday cake, and we dropped it all over the floor. Remember that? Oh, my gosh, yes. It was dropped, yeah, because we, I think it went sliding off, and that was the end of that, so we didn't really get any birthday cake either. So, <laughs> so I like this one, and I used to like red velvet a lot. Yeah, but I kind of over the red velvet. Did you know why know. people do not like red velvet? You know why you don't? It's actually a chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. This one. But it is a chocolate. I know. Cake. I'm not Mary big says on it's a chocolate. The chocolate. Cake. So, anyway, okay. okay, let's get started today. The name of this cake that we're going to make today is Make Mine Vanilla. Doesn't that sound yummy? Everybody likes vanilla. So the first thing that we're going to do. And Deandra, what we're going to do, and you're going to watch me, because have you ever made this actually? I think so. A long time ago. I think okay. So. Yeah. So we're going to take a box of, I always just get the butter golden duck and Hines. As long as you're getting the yellow duck mm -hmm. and Hines, you, I think duck and Hines is a little bit more moist, and that's mm -hmm. why I use it. So you're going to take a. Sorry, Betty Crocker. Yeah, sorry, Betty. We love you, but this is. We're and doing also, what we're doing what Mama did. You also, know? remember that um, the, all the ingredients will be down below for this recipe, so okay. you can we have those ingredients. Let me get you some scissors, Mama. Okay. Or maybe just use my hands. Where's the magic of scissors? Well, you, I'm a magician too. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do? Deandra's opening that package. We're going to put it ah! in here. Okay, sorry. And Deandra, the it next thing you can do. It wouldn't be simply Simmons without some mishaps. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to add a stick of softened butter. This okay, the best soft. part about this is that it, the recipe is so old that it still says Oleo. <laughs> and nobody knows what Oleo is today. And, of course, uh, Brianna and Ryan have no idea what Oleo is, which was margarine. And trust me, you wouldn't. You're not, ugh. And you don't want to use margarine. It's I don't like, know. I mean, it's like, do they still sell called, margarine? I call it fake <laughs> butter. I know. I don't like it. I don't like the taste. It tastes very strange. Okay, so okay. now we're going to put that in there. Mm -hmm. And now, Deandra, we're going to do a half a cup of sugar. Okay, so, so I've already measured this out. Mm -hmm. And just, again, with the dry ingredients... This is my rule. If you're using dry ingredients, they go in measuring cups like this. If you're using wet ingredients, you're going to use a measuring cup like this. And I didn't so, even know that. Mom just does what she wants to do. I mean, when you're 82, you do what you want to do, and okay. it still tastes good. Yeah, well, I like to stick to the okay, stick recipe to or stick to the basics because, like I said, this is not my area of expertise. So. Okay, so now let's have this. We're going to do Wesson oil. Okay, so uh -huh. now <laughs> three-fourths cup. Okay. Western oil is vegetable oil, just so you That's know. exactly right. So it doesn't have to be Western oil. No. It can just be vegetable oil. Vegetable and now oil. we're going to put this liquid in the liquid cup. measuring cup. Now, what I think we should do is just start this on slow. And this. Um, second. Queen bee spatula. Because you got two queen bees here, right, Mama? Mm hmm Okay. 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 Now, you got to lock it first, remember? This is the lock. Okay. Otherwise, okay, bad so, things can happen. So now, Deandra, what I need is I need four eggs. Okay, we got your four eggs right here. Mm -hmm. And let's kind of just mix them up a little bit. Okay, well, and, you told me there's a certain okay. way that you don't get eggshell when you break them. So. Okay, so pe women particularly, 
Here's how they do an egg. De -de 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 -de. Well, what's gonna happen? What if it, you open it and it's a rotten egg? So the way I do mine is I do them on the table like that. And then I open them like that. Well, you're still, if it's a rotten egg, it's still in the same place. I just look, I'm in it. And there's still some stuff down there. This may be a very short cookie. Oh, wait, no, there's a lot of stuff in there. Hold it, on. No, there's nothing in there. Look, that white stuff. No, this is the, this is the eggshell. I thought there was a trip, a, a trick. Well, you do. Oh! So. <laughs> okay, get one more egg. Well, I'm so glad that I had Lucy bring one more egg just in case there was any collectives <laughs> today. Okay, you know hold what? on. This egg is really weird. The, you didn't really believe this, but the shell, shell is very, very Here. soft. Okay. Okay, don't do that because I have another one for you. I'm not going to do that. Okay, let me open this real quick. Can I open this? Mm hmm. Do you okay. remember that show, guys? You may be too young. Okay, magical, I love Lucy. magical hander, handler, please hand me the next egg. That's magician. Presto, where's the next egg? Oh, I can go put it away. I put it away. I put it away. I put it away. Sorry. Where is it? I know where it is. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay. <sighs> Already. I can see of... right now you don't want to learn from us. Yes. Lord, yeah. help me. <laughs> and this poor recipe's covered in egg. And this is at least 60 years old. Oh, Lordy, help me. If we run my recipe, this is something. Okay, I did not do it. I am not responsible for this, just so you know. I'm always responsible for everything. I'm going to do this egg the way I want to do it. Okay, you do it. You just do it, baby. Make sure no. There you go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'll tell you It doesn't matter thing. if it's a white egg or a brown egg. It's going to be fine. I'll Trust tell you me. what you do also. Okay. I always say, shake up your vanilla. Hand me that card, please. And um, now, I, what do I do that nobody does? <laughs> okay, you double the vanilla. Mm -hmm. so, so this what? says two teaspoons, so you can put four in there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So four teaspoons of vanilla, not just two, like the recipe I says. I think this is a teaspoon right here. What did you put in there? I can't say it on the glass. Oh, yeah. no, Lord, help me. What did we put in there? Which one did you put in there? The one that's wet. Is that half a teaspoon? Mm. Oh, now I gotta do math. Oh, okay. You know what, it doesn't matter. Nobody knows anything about vanilla. Vanilla just makes things taste good. Okay, one. Do you know how oh, much? Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine, trust me. That is fine. Are you it's sure that's enough. enough? Did you know that when I make ice cream, what I do? Oh, it's so good. I make the best vanilla ice cream. I put a whole bottle of vanilla in it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's okay. delicious. Do you see this? And it has I'm whipping put cream it in here. and put eggs. It in. And, yes, okay. You're putting it all in there. I thought you said I had to <laughs> well, uh, whisk them Well, I gave up on you a long time ago. So. Uh, I failed already. Okay. I've already failed the class. Ow! You're going to... I don't have the thing on there. What thing? The thing that keeps it from coming out. Okay. The now shield. let's see what else we... Oh, I can't believe this is Grandmama's... Handwriting and everything. Y'all, if I'm a little now, slow today, I have need, a headache. Uh, Sorry. Where's the sour cream? Right here. Right in front of you. Okay, I need a spoon, please. That's one thing we didn't do either. There is a spoon drawer. Presto, abracadabra. Yes, there's a spoon. Thank you. Do you like my magic skills? I've been working hard on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, are we putting the sour cream in the um, Cake mix. batter? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so here is eight ounces of sour cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like I said, all of this what will is be this down for? below. That was for your butter in case you want to soften it, but mm. we didn't need to do that, so. Okay. okay. Where's the. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, I have two cake pans here. You know, I don't know how women, always, I believe when you buy cake pans, you buy good ones. Cause you know those cheap, really poor ones? Mm -hmm. They don't cook, you don't cook your cake even. Oh, though. you know what, now's the time for a good lesson. Okay. Okay, you keep talking, I'll, I'll get what I was gonna get. Oh, Lordy, help me, okay. These are cake pans, okay? Um, this is a pan that has a spring form release, and that's what you're going to use to make a cheesecake yes. or a cheese mold or um, some kind of, uh, I don't know, there's sometimes 
like little uh, bigger pate kind of things that I make um, that need to be in that mold. So this is not what you're going to use to bake a cake, okay, unless it's cheesecake, just so you know. So you just want two regular cake pans, round cake pans. And make sure on those cake pans you grease them really well. You can either use, I'm going to be honest, I'm old-fashioned, I use um, Crisco, and I usually put Crisco all in them, and I, you know, put the flour in them and shake it out. Do or you, want you flour can do the for that? spray. No, because we use the spray today. Okay, so we used, then and we I'll use get Baker's that too. Joy. Okay. Um, Baker's Joy. So today we use Baker's Joy. Now normally I would use Crisco to um, go in here and grease them. However, my mother didn't trust my Crisco. I think I it was very probably. <laughs> She had it since the time she went to college. <laughs> or maybe when I moved in this house. <laughs> anyway, it smells fine, but she said it wasn't good to take the chance. Baker's Joy is good. You just have to do it really liberally because I've used it before and things have still been sticking for me. But, you know, whatever you want to do is fine. Okay, so. now we're ready to put Why this. Why don't you use butter? Because it would burn? For what, this? Uh -huh. Absolutely. Okay, burn. that's what I was going to mm. ask. Okay. Okay, so Deandra, do you want to take this out or yeah. not? Yeah, let me do that. Here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess up. Now here. let's talk about growing up, about grandmother. We talked about grandmother made this cake for you, mm -hmm. okay? And I, when I was little, did I really like sweets? Not really. Not really. I wasn't a sweets mm -hmm. eater. Mm -hmm. But this is the one cake that I did like. And the reason I like it, and I'll tell you exactly why, is because it has the sour cream. So for desserts, and me in particular, I like desserts that have a little bit of a tartness to them. So lemon pie, key lime pie, um, I know one other cake you want. What's other what's the other? cake that I make the coconut that sits in the refrigerator? Coconut, three, but yeah, that doesn't have a tartness, days. but yeah, it has a three day. That's, that's a we Christmas. Do that we do that a Christmas cake. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is it locked it or something? Yeah, it's locked because of. Okay, so now the we're going to we pour it into kind here. It's kind of dangerous at times, so. <laughs> so what For you us and others. You know, guys, if you've cooked a lot like I have, Everybody says, well, how do you measure it out? I don't measure it, I look. So if you're not sure, start with one. Come back over to the second one. What you're trying to do is even it out so your layers will be about the same. Okay, Mom, I'm gonna move this so you have your space, okay? Okay. Okay. And I'll clean it next. Now what we're gonna do is put some more in here. That's not very much in there. Deandra, just let Mama finish. Okay. It's gonna be right. Are my I've cake pans the right this, size? I've been doing this since you were born, kid. Okay. Yeah, see, at this point, I start freaking out because I'm not a dessert maker. I'd be like, oh my God, there's not a batter. What are we going to do? Now, do you see how they're even now? Yeah, it just still seems like it's, uh, I'm just going to trust the process. Let go and trust the process. Well, I know what I'm doing. Talk about how many sweets you eat a week. Well, I had three pints of ice cream last week. Lordy, oh help me. I know it. Okay, what else do you eat, Mom? Because you always tell me these crazy things. I just can't believe you do this. Because well, you're I so eat skinny. The poopy pies. Okay, well, now you're on to the ice I cream. Don't like, I don't like poopy pies anymore. And the hot fudge? I like, um, well, I don't really like hot fudge unless I make it. So, what do you eat on your ice cream? I eat it. I go and I buy the cones, the big, good cones. I don't mm -hmm. buy those cheap cones. And I just eat them one after the other. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I know, and the boys, the boys are, the two doctors I run around, they said, Mama, I don't know how in the world you're not a diabetic. So today, Deandra had my blood work done. Oh, So no. now I'm waiting. Okay, so now we're gonna put these, we pre, always, guys, I've tried to teach everybody, when you go into the kitchen and you're gonna prepare anything, the first thing you do is start your oven on whatever degree. This is 350, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. 350. Because if not, now you're ready to go and the oven's not heated. It doesn't work that way. So we're gonna put these in the oven. When we come back, we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna make the delicious icing that goes on top. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we now put our cakes in the oven at 350. I'm gonna set my timer for 40 minutes and I'll check them then because it says 40 or 50 minutes, depending on your oven and depending on where you live. Obviously, if you're in an altitude, things change. Just depends on where you're, where in the country you are. So we'll start with 40, and we'll go okay. from there. Okay, that goes good. Okay. You remember how many times that uh, we were on vacation trying to cook in 
Colorado or something oh, and took the time was totally yes, different because of the altitude. Yes. Did it take longer? To, longer, right? Yeah. Also at the ranch. Oh. So now we have our cakes in the oven. Of course, they're going to have to cool, but I'm going to go ahead and make the icing okay. with mom um, since we have some time. And I told you before that I like the tartness of this cake. So the icing has cream cheese and the cake actually has sour cream. So you can kind of see where I'm going with my taste buds in particular. I'm not a person that likes sugar, sugar, sugar. I like a little bit of tartness. So, okay, so the first thing, you just tell me what we need. I'm gonna okay, put it in honey. Here. Since we're going to, because remember this was original sheath cake. Yeah, so. So now we're gonna double the icing because it's got two layers. Yeah, so most, when you see the recipe, you can either make it as one big sheet cake or you can do a double layer cake uh, in the rounds like we're doing, but then you're gonna have to double the icing. And we doubled the recipe. If you do it in a sheath, you'll have way too much icing. Okay. I tried it that way. We're doubling the icing, but we didn't double the cake recipe. No, we don't have to. Okay. Because we didn't do it in a sheath pan, okay. we did it in two times. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Dan, is we're doubling it. We're gonna do two eight ounces of cream cheese. Okay, so I got this ready to go. Do not use low fat cream cheese, people. It's not, you're, already, you're making a cake, okay? <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, and then you're gonna use, since it costs for one teaspoon, we always double our vanilla. You're gonna use two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. Two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I've got the right one here. There we go. Oops. Whose vanilla is that? Yeah. M. Martin and Bassett. It's hard to find good vanilla now. It's so expensive. I mean, just a little bitty jar. If you get eight ounces, it's $25. Mm. I order a lot of that stuff on, um, what is it, King Arthur Baking yeah, Flour King Company? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so I got I like two. your things. I do too. They're flowers. Okay. Okay. Now, what I would do, if I was you, I would go ahead and um, start mixing that up and add the powdered sugar as we go. We're gonna to to add a little bit of milk to kind of keep it the t consistency we want. What about the butter? What about the butter? We didn't put the butter in there. Okay, one stick of butter. Yeah, so there's a couple sticks over there. Let me get... Yeah, this one's the softest, okay. When you have, don't just every stick, just a stick in there, kind of break it up, okay? Okay, so you want me to start mixing this now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Make sure you lock your mixer, people. This is a KitchenAid mixer. I love KitchenAid. Shout out for my KitchenAid people, yay! Okay. As much as you cook, you probably need two KitchenAids. I do need another one for my new, um, kitchen in my new house yeah. because it's going to be blue mm -hmm. and I need one. I need to actually have a bigger size. I need the bigger size because I'm always having to do two, I'm having to do two um, times the that's recipe mm -hmm. when I have a lot of people, you know? Okay. How's okay. that look? So that's good. That's good. Now what we're going to do. You want to see what this looks like here? Uh -huh. I think we should probably, can you just lift that top mm -hmm. up? Yeah. Okay. Now let's do this. Why don't we start adding okay. the powdered sugar? Let me do it with a spoon so I That's don't right. get too much, okay? Are you going to do it with those, either a little measuring cups that's in the metal? Okay, so Dandra, why don't you go get a Band-Aid? Of course, you've I cut wounded, myself. You're the wounded warrior here. And I will go ahead, and like we knew, we have the cream cheese in here. We've doubled it because we're going to have two layers instead of one. Okay, we have a whole stick of butter instead of a half, half a stick of butter, again, because we're doubling it. Now, when I make anything that has vanilla, I always double the vanilla. There's just something about that enriches the flavor. So we're using one teaspoon of vanilla. It would be normal, but now we're gonna use two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, now it says a box. Guys, they don't even make powdered sugar in boxes anymore. So we figured out how much it was, and I don't remember how many cups it was. Um, but anyway, I guess Deandra figured it out how much sugar, uh, powdered sugar we have to have. So we're gonna actually, I'm gonna add this a little at a time. Now you see I have some milk sitting here because it may wanna try to just thicken up. And what you do, you add a little bit of milk and that takes care of it. That gets it to the consistency that you want. I know this may sound a little crazy, but this is probably the best my favorite ice, I could just sit there and eat the icing, to be honest with you.
instead of just pouring it in there, a lot of people might just pour it in there. Guys, it's gonna be harder to mix up if you just pour it in there. So this is why you wanna do it like this. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So now what I'm doing, Deandra, uh, of course we used the two eight ounce cream cheese. Mm -hmm. We used a stick of butter. Mm -hmm. We doubled our vanilla, mm -hmm. so that means we had two teaspoons. And now we're doing our powdered sugar. So what we're gonna do. Did you tell them it was seven cups? I didn't know how many, is that what it is? Seven cups, okay. because the recipe says a box of- There's no such thing I told him anymore. Powdered sugar, we didn't sift it, does it matter? No. Okay, okay. Did you know there's no such thing as a box? Yeah, that's why we did, that's why we <laughs> had to measure. I was over at the stores just looking for boxes, and so we Lisa actually, said, what are you doing? And you know how you used to do the brown sugar too? Mm -hmm. You can't find those in boxes anymore. So basically we looked online and a an old box was three and a half cups, so now we've got, um, we doubled it to seven cups. So the seven cups of, yeah, of powdered, powdered sugar. sugar. People ask me sometimes, why do you use powdered sugar? Well, that's what the recipe calls for. And I promise this cake is good. So. Okay, good enough? I think so. Yeah, so the recipe says sifted. If you want to sift the powdered sugar, you can, but you don't ever do that, do you? No, never. I sift flour sometimes. The only thing I do now, and one it has really helped me with this, things that lots of times your brown sugar and all that gets lumps, uh -huh. she just puts it in my little sifter okay. thing and sifts it up. Okay, so Deanna, let's just check this. Okay. And just see what the consistency is. Oh, uh -oh, it's not locked. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> What'd you say? It's not locked. It's okay. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. So you know what? So it good. says oh to gosh, add milk cheese. if it's too thick. Here, hold on. Let's lock it. I don't think it needs any milk. Well, I don't know what kind of consistency it's supposed to have. And we don't have any milk because my husband drank yeah, the did, milk and ate the eggs. So here's the half and half. We're going to use. But you know what? I love to use half and half for stuff like this. Okay. Now. I don't know what it's supposed You know what it's supposed to be like. I, don't I know, know what it's supposed to be like. Because if you get it too thin, so if you get it too thin, you can't <laughs> spread it. Okay, yeah. so now are the cakes ready? Let's go check on the cakes. And okay. let's see where we are with our cakes and then we'll be right back, okay? Okay, okay so now we have our cakes yes. that we have cooled after we baked, okay? Uh -huh. This one's prettier so it can go on top. Okay, so then I'm gonna set the first one down on Deandra's cake plate, okay? Now, before that one goes, we oh, have, to right. have to ice it. Ice. Okay, so so to this is the icing that we made that I really, really like. And Deandra's got a great spatula here. Lordy, help me. And you're going to spoon it across. Make sure the texture the, and uh, consistency is good for the icing. This you don't is, need to add any and half and half perfect. or anything. No, it's perfect. Okay, I'll hold this while you do that. You know where I got that um, spatula where? for the cakes at uh, Magnolia? Oh, you did. When we went to our little yeah. trip. Yeah. Either that's either that came from Magnolia or the Target Magnolia collection. I can't remember which one. But anyway, Chip and Joanna Gaines. So what you're, the thing that people make a mistake in when they do two layers, they do not put enough in the middle. So when you cut your cake, you can't even taste the inside. It's too close to the cake. So you want to make sure you know how to do it. Now, see, you don't have to do the side yet, Deandra. Mm -hmm because we're gonna do that whenever we put that other one back up. You know those things they have on, uh, well I say TV, because you know I watch these baking things even though I don't mm -hmm. make anything, bake anything. <laughs> they have those things where the turntables, like they're yes. like a record, they yes. turn around and they're, yes. well, I don't have one of those. Do you have one of those? No, Okay. I don't need it. I'm, remember I'm 82, I'm old fashioned. Okay, so Maybe now. we need to get you one so you can uh, bequeath it to me. <laughs> Okay, so why don't we do this now? That's enough. So let's go ahead and set that there. See, right on top. See how pretty that is? Okay. I had to get a little glove because my injury was worse than I thought. What did you call me when I was growing up, Calamity Jane? Because I was always oh. injuring myself. Well, we went <laughs> Breaking my arm, breaking my she foot. She was always. Breaking my ankle. Until Deandra was in junior high, she was on crutches. She lived on crutches. <laughs> she broke everything that could be broken. Okay, so what Such I would suggest to do athlete. is do the top first, Deandra, and then we're gonna come and do the sides, see? So I have all those gold medals. I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. For breaking them the most, is mm -hmm. that it? 
Mm -hmm. For trying. Calamity <laughs> Joe. If there was a curb, I was gonna fall off it. Oh. <laughs> or a tree, I was gonna fall off it. <laughs> Something. Now, look at this. When you start down the sides, you wanna go all the way down to the bottom. And if you feel like it's sticking, you can even dampen it. Or it, you can add more, like, you can add the half nap, right? No, you dampen this. Oh, okay. You want me to get you a cup of water? Mm-mm, this is fine. Okay. Now it kinda looks like a bouffant hairdo. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Kind of looks a little bit like a bouffant hairdo. <laughs> like your mama was. <laughs> kind of looks like your wig mom. <laughs> That's okay. I have a hundred of them. If you want to come over and borrow it, where'd you just come out? We're going to rename this the wig cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the decent Mama D. Simmons you know, wig we cake. We ought to do one. In the, we ought to do one of those. Mama D. Simmons wig cake. Mm -hmm. Make mine vanilla or also known as. <laughs> oh, Lord. Jerry makes fun of me because I, I laugh at my own jokes. Because you what? I laugh at my own jokes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to entertain me. Yeah, yeah, it's better than to cry at them. Okay, are you running on icing or are we doing okay? Over here? I'm I doing get nervous. so good. It looks like it's a little heavy handed over here. Just a minute. Don't get into my business. Don't get into my business. Before I get through this cake, it'll be good. And yeah, everybody gonna, out there in America is going to I'm just going to be the cleanup this. crew. Well, you know what? That's good because I'm used to you cooking. Deandra is such a good cook. Oh, my gosh. Bless her heart. She cooks so good, but when it comes to dessert, she just doesn't make it because <coughs> she doesn't like them. And I don't want to do cook savory cook. I don't want to do that. I can come to my daughter's for that. See, you've got plenty of icing. Now think about it. This recipe did not call to double the icing. Your mama's brilliant mind figured that out because we were not going to be able to get that mm -hmm. two layers done. Your brilliant mind. Mm-hmm. 82 years. That's old exactly what mind. I was thinking, your brilliant mind. Mm-hmm. This consistency of this is really good, Deandra. Of the icing? Mm-hmm. So this is also a cake that we used to make on Valentine's Day, yeah. and we would do it in the Valentine's cake pans, mm -hmm. which would be two hearts, and then we would double stack it and we put pink in the icing. In the so icing. pink food color in the icing. I can't believe you remember that. And it's really nice for Valentine's Day. Okay, just went to the beauty shop. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put some spray head on it in a minute. Okay, well. So you can always come in and fill in. The sides, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's a pretty cake. I mean. Well, this down here needs a little help. Okay, why don't you do that? Okay. That way well, you need help. to learn how to do it anyway. Yeah. You're not letting me do my job here. <laughs> so let's be learning. I tell you. D. Simmons Culinary School. I can sit here and just eat this icing. This is the best icing girls you've ever had. Yeah, I'm trying it on around. Yeah. See how can you And then what you can do, Deandra, right. when you finish with your cake, it's like what she's doing, you see it on the edges. Just take you a paper towel damp and just move that off. That's really easy. Mm -hmm. You need some more icing right there. I know. Mom, when are you gonna open your dessert uh, culinary school? <laughs> I'm going to. You know what would really be good to make? Cream puffs. You love those. That's one of my favorite dishes that grandmother made. So that's kind of, explain what a cream puff is. Mom. Okay, so what a cream puff is, you make a like an recipe. eclair. Yeah. It's like a chocolate eclair, and you, they're kind of hard to make in a way. You do them in a pan, you get them going really good, and then you mold them. You put them on your um, cookie sheet and mold them. And then in the meantime, I make a homemade. I don't buy boxes of custard. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And then I open them up and I fill them full of custard and then I make my hot fudge or my chocolate dripping on it. That's my favorite. That is my favorite. So basically what you're going to make is a shoe pastry and then 
the shoe pastry is filled with a homemade custard, mm -hmm. which you can make kind of any flavor you want. We like vanilla custard. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what her. I'm just trying to see what when she's talking about in. cream puff. She's talking about like a a clair, a little eclair, a basically, but or you know a what? profiterole. If you were, I get you know. eclairs all the time in bakeries, mm -hmm. and mm. you can make them into profiteroles if you put ice cream in the middle instead mm -hmm. of custard. So, but you know what? Like it's I'm just not going to name any names of the bakery I went to. That's my eyes pretty close. Mm -hmm. I take Daisy, my little dog. It came out of a box, mm -hmm. and most women will use like a Jello box or something. You know, well, most people don't want to make shoe pastry or any. Well, other I'm sorry, pastry. I like everything homemade. Okay, let's see mm -hmm. how many more places mm. does she have alopecia? Who? <laughs> what are you talking about? Alopecia, where what she's losing it? her hair. She needs to have some more icing. <laughs> Once again, I'm laughing at my jokes. Okay, so now let's wipe off the sides. See, she's losing the hair over here, mother. I'm not finished. I got some more okay. icing I could use here. Okay. So Ooh. this is, I think, instead of called Make Mine Vanilla, it's called it's Ice Cake. The ice, oh, it's called, no, D. Simmons Wig Cake. It's the wig cake. That's what it's called now. Oh, shoot, I messed it up. Can you make it prettier? Well, what you're doing, you're, you're, you know what you're, you're overdoing. And when you start overdoing, you mess up. Okay, well, now it looks weird, so I need your help. Okay, hold on. Well... I could put some fruit on top of it. Is it okay now? Mm hmm Okay. Now, here's what you do to get off the extra. It has a little curl there, too. I can do that in a minute. No, I you... like the curl. I like okay. the little curl. You make as many curls as you want. Mm-hmm. This is going to be super icing-y. <laughs> it's going to be what? Super icing-y. Well, <laughs> Lots of icing. I tell you what. The people that are over this afternoon and taste of it, I will guarantee you, they're gonna say, Mama D, that's the best cake I've ever had in my life. Are we having a bridge party this afternoon? Here. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. I'm gonna tell you. The people. I'm the type of person. Power to the people that are coming. <laughs> I'm the type of person, <laughs> if I make something and it's not good, I pitch it in the sink. So one day, Deandra's daddy was coming in from work and I just made a homemade, from scratch, lemon meringue pie. And he saw it, and I was washing it down the drain. He said, oh, what are you doing? I said, this pie's not worth eating. I can tell by looking. Oh, I'll eat it. I said, no, you won't. Pitch it in the drain. But did he get it out of the sink or not? No, it was in the garbage disposal. Oh, <laughs> going Lord. around and around. See? Mm -hmm. See, and that look good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Very pretty. And you know what? You can cut it and eat it now. Okay, so we are going to get the people to. <laughs> we're to who all we can bring. We're going to invite some people to eat cake with us, and then they will let you know what they yes. think about the cake. Okay, you ready to cut it? Yeah, let's cut it and okay. try it. Okay. And you know what? I bet we have some of our friends that want to come up and have some of this too. I bet we do, especially okay. since it doesn't have. It's a vegetarian option. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> and see how that pretty that is. Yeah. Now I want you to see something. See how it had enough icing in the middle? Mm -hmm. Some people don't make enough icing in the middle and you don't even find the icing in the middle. That's right, I know. That looks great. Oof. Yum, yum. I should have made some coffee. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Remember Mom Bell um, used to make coffee every afternoon and cake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'd mm -hmm. have cake and coffee. It's my okay, guys, come in. See, didn't have pretty that came mm -hmm. in? And you know what? We didn't use it. Okay, Brie. Here. Something you can eat finally. Finally. Thank so, God. You know what? We didn't put any Thank milk God. in this and the consistency came out good. Cute. Mmm. Delicious. Okay. Delicious. Mm. D. 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 E. E. Wow. Is it good? Wow. That's a new one. Hashtag delicious. <laughs> you need to trademark that. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That is one of the best cakes. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, you've got to try this cake. Oh my gosh. At 82 wow. years old, Mama D has made every cake in the world. This is truly one of my best cakes. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm supposed to close out or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Simply Simmons with Mama D Simmons and her delicious Make Mine Vanilla Cake or Mama D's Wig Cake, whichever one you'd like. We'll see you next time on Simply Simmons. Bye bye.